June of 07. This is page 5. Starting with question 24. What is the period? Ah, I can never remember that. Period. Period is T. So we're looking for capital T. What is the period of a 60 hertz electromagnetic wave? 60 hertz, and that's the frequency, is 60 hertz. And traveling at 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. So the speed is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. So do I have a formula that has period, frequency, and velocity? And, uh, well, look at this. I got one that has period is 1 over frequency. That's easy. So period is 1 over frequency. So let's see, I need a 60th. So I get out my calculator and calculate what a 60th is. You really don't need to. Look at this. I got 5 times 10 to the 6. That's ludicrous. 6 times 10 to the 1. That's 60. Uh, 2 times 10 to the negative 7, that's, that's a really tiny number. Uh, my calculator tells me that this is a 60th. Question 25. In an outdoor physics demonstration, yeah, I live up in upstate New York, that'll happen. A delay of half a second was observed between, so the time is 0.5 seconds. What was observed between the time the sound waves left a loudspeaker and the time those sound waves reached a student? Okay, so it's uh, the velocity of sound is something I can look up. And what am I looking for? The air is standard temperature and pressure. How far was the student? So I'm looking for distance. This is a velocity is distance over time. Therefore, distance equals velocity times time equation. And it's just wrapped up into a sound thing. But the uh, speed of sound in air at standard temperature and pressure is uh, 3.31 times 10 to the do, 331 meters per second. 3.31 times 10 to the 2 meters per second times a half second. So I'm looking at about uh, 150 times 10 to the meters. No, I'm looking for that. All right, so 100, I'm sorry, 330. Yeah, I'm thinking 300 is 150, 330 is 170. There you go. That works. 26. A microwave and an X wave are traveling in a vacuum. It's a physics joke. Compared to the wavelength and period of the microwave, the X ray has a wavelength that is. Well, I'm going to go find these on the, uh, the chart of the electromagnetic spectrum. And we've got X rays. And we've got what? Microwaves? Yeah. Microwave. So we've got X rays here. We've got microwaves. So let's see, x rays have a much shorter wavelength. So compared to it, the x ray has a wavelength that is shorter. So it's got to be these shorter. And a period that is longer. So more time or less time. Well, the frequency is higher as you get this way towards the x-rays. So the period would be smaller because period is in fact one over frequency. So the higher the frequency, the smaller period. So shorter and the periods are shorter. Option four would be the correct answer. 27 is just a memory, but you can think about it. Which type of wave requires a material, a medium, through which to travel? Electromagnetic, infrared, sound, and radio. Well, we can get uh, electromagnetic energy from the sun, which is infrared, is a form of electromagnetic energy. So it turns out radio is a form of electromagnetic energy. So one can't be true without the other. And so the correct answer is sound. You need air in order for sound to travel. All right, question 28. Oh, I hate when this happens. You're driving along at some speed, 70 kilometers per hour, accelerate, you reach 90 kilometers per hour, and you get a rattle in the glove compartment door. By the time the speed of the car is 100 kilometers per hour, the glove compartment door has stopped vibrating. This vibration is an example of. Okay, well, Doppler effect is the sound when something goes past you. Diffraction is the bending of waves around a barrier. Resonance, that's the correct answer. And destructive interference is when one wave 
from a source and another wave from a source interfere to produce nothing? So the correct answer is resonance. A beam of monochromatic light, read that as laser. A laser approaches a barrier having four openings, A, B, C, and D, at different sizes, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5. Which opening will cause the greatest diffraction? Well, greatest means you're going for one of the extremes or the other. So we eliminate B and C right off the bat because they're in the middle. We want 0.2, the smallest barrier, greatest uh, diffraction, or the uh, largest uh, opening. Now, as it turns out, uh, a laser could go right through this without uh, interfering at all. The correct answer is the smaller the opening, the larger the diffraction pattern. Which opening causes the greatest diffraction? That would be A. Okay, question 30. Two waves having the same frequency and amplitude are traveling the same medium. So you got a wave and it's interfering with another wave. Maximum constructive interference occurs when the phase difference. Well, if we started this wave, we would want the waves to line up perfectly. That would produce maximum constructive interference, and the phase difference would, in fact, be zero degrees. If it was 90 degrees out of phase, it would have started and then reached that point. 180 would be maximum destructive interference. And uh, 270 would be the same as 90, only on the opposite side. So zero is the correct answer. A student sees a train that is moving away from her. So there you are, minding your business, and a train is going away from you. Compared to the sound produced by the whistle, so it's making a whistle at a constant frequency, compared to the sound produced by the whistle, the sound observed. So if it's moving away from you, <clears throat> that's Doppler effect. So that's the meow sound. And so as it's coming towards you, it's a higher frequency. As it's going away from you, it's a lower frequency. So it's going to be lower frequency. So now let's read. Compared to the sound produced by the whistle, let's call it 100. Make that up. The sound observed by the student is it's got to be less than. So less than frequency. So, uh, oh, look at the question. Greater in amplitude, that means it would be louder. Greater in amplitude would be louder, and that certainly wouldn't be true. A uh, transverse wave rather than a longitudinal. No, no, it's a sound wave. It's going to be a, a longitudinal wave. Higher in pitch, that would be coming towards you. And lower in pitch. Lower in pitch is the correct answer. Page 5 seems to be done.